I'd like to call to order the public hearing of the Board of Education for September 18th, 2023. Roll call, please. Mr. Booth? Here. 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 Thank you. We have a presentation. Yes. Uh, a month ago, we had the presentation of the tentative FY24 budget. And tonight, of course, is the presentation of the final FY24 budget. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Trimberger, our chief school business official, and he will give you an overview. The details are in your packet, uh, but he will go through some of the fine points of uh, the budget. have any questions on the budget? Anyone in the audience have any questions on the budget? Thank you for your incredibly understandable and concise report. <laughs> okay. Is there a motion to adjourn the public hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We are going to move on to our regular meeting of the Board of Education for Monday, September 18th, 2023. Roll call, please. Mr. Booth? Here. Mrs. Marks? Here. Mrs. Buffet? Here. Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Zimmerman? Mrs. Haberkorst? Mr. Voss? Here. Thank you. We have approval of the minutes from the regular board meeting of August 15th, 2023. Are there any additions or corrections to that set of minutes? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have future. Um, real quick, I would like to nominate the Shadow Buffet as the board secretary Thank for this evening. Thank you for Alex, picking up on that. <laughs> Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Ashanti, did you want to vote? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> Motion carries. All righty, we have future dates. Yes, so uh, one week from today, we will be closed for Yom Kippur. There were, uh, we were in the office today talking, and there were two of our district office employees who were not aware of that. So. I want to make sure that uh, everyone is aware the district is closed one week from today. And then October 6th, which is a Friday going into the uh, Indigenous Peoples uh, Weekend, which is the following Monday. But October 6th, uh, we are also closed. So that will be a, a four-day weekend for students and teachers. Uh, so I want to make sure people are aware of that as well. Great. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Any other future dates? All right. Are there any presentations tonight? There are none. Anyone in the audience come to address the board on any items that are not on tonight's agenda? All right. And we have not had anyone come with a question or a concern, so we have no responses right now. Any board members have any reports? Uh, yes, so, um, yes, so the Finance and Property Committee met, I think it was a week and a half ago, um, and during that meeting we met with uh, Dr. McAllister and Dr. Trimberger, and we reviewed the FY24 budget, which was discussed um, just a short time ago, and went into a lot of details and talked about um, all, of, all of the items that Dr. Trimber, Trimber, Trimberger talked about and several other things about the budget. And, I mean, it was nice to see that the budget didn't have a deficit like we've had in, in the past. It was not anticipated to have a deficit um, to, of the, to the magnitude that we've had in the past, thanks to the passing of the referendum. So I think that was that was um, good to see. Um, felt better than the past several years that you know we've had those conversations. So um, more to come. <laughs> Great, thank you. Any other board members have any reports? superintendent's report yes well we were eagerly anticipating the fund run yesterday and uh, as you are all aware we woke up and mother nature did not cooperate so unfortunately uh, the five inch deluge that we received rained out the fund run but I did want to mention the foundation 153 and that that is one of the annual fundraisers that they do um, but I also wanted to publicly thank them uh, unbeknownst probably to a lot of people they are still donating money back to our district and so we received about six thousand dollars from the foundation for the purchase of go buckets uh, which if you're not familiar in the case of a, a building evacuation a classroom teacher is able to grab this bucket which has some ready-made supplies and just go to the evacuation site and so the foundation was gracious to donate money for the purchase of those throughout the district uh, and then also they gave a substantial sum of money uh, to help support our professional development work that we do largely in the summer. So we have teachers from each of our buildings who attend uh, Solution Tree Conferences, which is one of the premier education associations to provide training for staff, specifically in uh, professional learning communities. And the foundation, again, donated $12,000 to help defray the costs of, of that professional development. So I know our principals in the back, Ms. Lawson, uh, Dr. Schnorr, and Ms. Johnson, uh, can attest to the benefits that those conferences uh, have had and, and our district has attended those for years right uh, this goes goes well past a decade that we've attended those uh, workshops but they are not inexpensive and so uh, to have the foundation support is really really helpful and again I've always looked forward to the fund run uh, it's a fun day uh, but it's also a great fundraising opportunity and uh, so we weren't able to do the actual race but uh, nonetheless uh, their fundraising efforts directly benefit the district. So thank you to the foundation. Also wanted to mention our softball team on Saturday, uh, and Ms. Johnson is in the back. I see her frowny face. Uh, unfortunately, softball team did not prevail in their uh, effort to go to state, uh, but they were regional champions, and then they played a great game on Saturday against Hickory Creek, and Hickory Creek is always one of the state contenders. And so we lost a tough game four to one, uh, to Hickory Creek but congratulations to our softball team on a really successful year and then our baseball team is going to be playing Parker for the uh, regional championship that game was supposed to be tonight uh, but there's still standing water on the field as we speak so uh, we'll see what happens with the weather tonight uh, they want to get the game in tomorrow but it may even get pushed back to, to Wednesday but nonetheless they'll be competing for regional championship against Parker and uh, also I wanted to mention uh, Miss Lawson our open house is on Thursday, right? First time back in the building in a few years, correct? Yeah, so 6.30 is the Willow Open House. That's this Thursday evening, and uh, it's always a great event. So many families come out for that. Uh, we did have our James Hart and Churchill open houses to start the year, and so now we are, are finishing up the third open house with Willow on Thursday. Great, thank you. You're welcome. We do have an executive session to discuss specific personnel. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. 
Roll call, please. Mr. Bach? Yes. 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 Motion carries. We will be back shortly. We're back from executive session. We have several consent agenda items. The first is to authorize the chief school business official to pay the usual and customary bills for October 2023. The second item is a personnel report. Yes, you can see the details on there. Uh, personnel is a constantly evolving door. And uh, again, a, a credit to our administrators in the back of the room who spend uh, a lot of time trying to fill vacant positions. We do still have some vacancies, but uh, have been able to fill uh, most of the positions that we have available. Great. Are there any questions on personnel from the board or the audience? Is there a motion to approve? I am so sorry. The next item is recognition of the sixth day enrollment numbers. Yes, yeah, so you can see uh, in your packet the specific grade by grade counts uh, as of the sixth day uh, of attendance. And um, the one thing that I'll point out, our overall district enrollment is down this year largely attributed to a, an unexpectedly small kindergarten class. Uh, we're down about 40 students from what we had predicted for kindergarten, but overall district enrollment is uh, right about just above 1800 and it's it's been in the 1800 to 2000 range for 25 to 30 years. So our, our district enrollment continues to maintain uh, a pretty steady uh, rate, uh, but again, an unexpected this year. Okay. Any questions on the sixth day enrollment numbers? <clears throat> All right. We have approval of the administrator and teacher compensation report. Yeah, this report is required by state law, and so every district uh, by the end of the month is required to uh, post this information on their website in the public spot. So you can go to any district in the state of Illinois and find the compensation report. Any questions? All right. Approval of tuition and salary adjustments. You can see there's a lot of different names on there, and we're excited that staff continue to go back and take advantage of tuition reimbursement uh, to further their knowledge, which of course ultimately benefits our students. And so um, the contract does provide for partial reimbursement for classes that they take, and you can see all the staff members and the classes that they've uh, taken over the past year so they can move forward on the salary schedule. Good job to the staff. We really appreciate the effort that they make yes. to stay up to date on information and just improve their skills. Um, disposal of outdated materials. I want all of you to look at the picture it's of that team. artifact. <laughs> you guys can't see what we're looking at. I was looking over there against the wall, which is where it used to be, right where that smart board is. Uh, if you don't recognize that, that used to hold newspapers. And if you don't know what a newspaper is, <laughs> it's this thing that had it's this. No, sad. sarcastic. I know. So our old little wooden rack where we would put all the daily papers and people would come get them and pull them off there. Uh, we just don't need that anymore. So we're asking, we, we tried to see if there was anybody in district that could utilize that. There were no takers, so we are asking you to formally approve the removal of our newspaper holder. There's a museum somewhere that wants yeah, Absolutely. That. It's in good shape. Look at it. Great. Okay. Any questions from the audience? Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve the consent agenda items as presented in items 7A, 7B, 7C, 7D, 7E, 7F, and 7G. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Day. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. 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 Motion carries. We have the second payment of August 2023 bills and the first payment of September 2023 bills. Any questions on the bills from the board? From the audience, is there a motion to approve? 
moved upon the recommendation of the chief school business official that the Board of Education authorize the second payment of August 2023 bills and the first payment of September 2023 bills in an amount not to exceed $964,914.09. Second. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion carries. We have adoption of the FY24 budget. Yes. Uh, the only thing I will add, uh, in addition to what Dr. Trimberger said earlier um, at our public hearing, I'm not going to add. I'm going to reiterate two points. First of all, <clears throat> in terms of the referendum, uh, everyone expected. Uh, those referendum proceeds uh, to put an end to our uh, deficits. Um, and we certainly expect that to happen. However, unfortunately, because Cook County has delayed their uh, tax collections yet once again, we don't know what the outcome of that referendum is going to be. So we're still awaiting to see the exact uh, revenue number. The other thing is, as Dr. Trimberger pointed out, we have the final installment as an expense of our construction work from last summer. So if you take that out, uh, then we would have had a budget surplus this year. So I just wanted to point those two things out. But the biggest thing is we're still awaiting, eagerly awaiting uh, what the actual revenue uh, that we'll receive from the referendum. Thank you. Any questions? I guess one comment in terms of the surplus. I mean, the, the intent with that surplus, just to clarify, was to, to rebuild our reserve funds. It was not just money for us to figure out what to do with, but it was intended, or is intended to build up our reserves, which have been diminished, and we have been uh, funding through our working cash bond referendums the last two times we went to our referendum. So this was planned so we could build up our reserves going forward. Yeah, and that's a great point, Mr. Bosch. I, I will point out, because Cook County has delayed receipts yet once again, we are, as was mentioned, facing the likelihood of having to borrow to meet payroll for this fall because we haven't received the new revenue. Our cash reserves, as expected, had depleted down. So we want to build up our cash reserves. The referendum revenues, once we receive them, will enable us to do that. But uh, at this point, we haven't received them. So uh, future, future collections. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions? OK. Is there a motion? To approve. Uh, I'm on a roll. <laughs> Moved upon the recommendation of the Finance and Property Committee and the Chief School Business Official that the Board of Education approve the budget for the 2023 2024 school year as presented or modified. If the budget line items are changed at the public hearing and adopt the resolution declaring the budget for the 2023 2024 fiscal year as attached. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Smith? Yes. 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 Motion passes. There is, we have the approval of request to rescind employees intent to retire. Per the contract, uh, the board does have the ability to uh, take back, for lack of a better term, uh, an employee's request to retire if that employee has had a change of circumstances. And so, um, Ann Snow did make the request to rescind her letter of retirement, uh, and we're asking you to approve that this evening. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Is there a motion to approve? Moved upon the recommendation of the superintendent that the board approve Ann Snow's request to rescind her previously accepted intent to retire. Second. Roll call, please. Uh, yeah, roll call, please. Mr. Bosch? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. 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 Motion carries. Do we have any discussion items tonight? Oh my gosh, what is wrong? <laughs> Employment. <laughs> we have we have all these wonderful individuals who are looking to be hired this evening. Madeline Valvis, second grade teacher at Willow. Betty Myers, supervisor at Willow. Evangelina Mora, food service substitute. Riley Smith, assistant at Willow. Charmaine Lando, assistant at Willow. John Hotchkiss, a social worker on a 120-day contract. Dolores Jackson, supervisor at Churchill. Erica Lucas-Williams, a supervisor at Willow. Faith Watkins, an assistant at Churchill. Sue Lohman, supervisor at Churchill. Benjamin Santiago, custodian floater. 
Patricia Curley, supervisor at Churchill, and Tina Kennebrew, sixth grade ELA teacher at James Hart. Uh, again, as I said earlier during personnel, our, our team continues to, to find people, and uh, despite it being more challenging to find high quality individuals, we're managing to do so. So thrilled with the people that we're able to employ, and, uh, and we're asking for your approval on, on all of these people this evening. Great. Now, is there a motion to approve? Moved upon the recommendation of the administration that the Board of Education approve the employment of Madeline Valdez and Betty Myers, effective August 21st, 2023. Evangelina Mora, Riley Smith, and Charmaine Lando, effective August 29th, 2023. John Hakis, Loris Jackson, and Erica Lucas Williams, effective September 5th, 2023. Faith Watkins and Sue Lowman, effective September 11th, 2023. Benjamin Santiago, effective September 14th, 2023. Patricia Curley, effective September 20th, 2023. And Tina Kinnebrew, effective October 11th, 2023. Effective upon the terms recommended by the superintendent, conditioned upon receipt of a satisfactory criminal background report and upon receipt no later than October 15th evidence of proper legal qualifications for the positions to be filled. Second. <laughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Green? Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Motion carries. Discussion items. Are there any tonight? Okay. Madam Secretary, is there any written communication to the board? No, Madam President, there is not. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you all for coming tonight. We appreciate it. <laughs>